I bought a 2021 Toyota Tacoma, I pre-ordered the new Bronco, and I'm selling one of my Jeeps. This all started a little over a month ago when I pre-ordered the new Ford Bronco. I think that on paper, this is the best 4x4 that you can get from the factory ever. You can get 35s, you can get lockers, all from the factory. And the one that I put together was a two-door blue uh, Sasquatch package that has lockers front and rear. And from the factory comes with 35s. And that means that I'm immediately going to bolt on 37s without having to modify anything. That is outstanding. But there's a huge catch. If you didn't order these almost immediately, you're gonna be waiting for a really long time until yours shows up. The way that I'm looking at the estimations, it looks like I probably won't see mine for a year and a half. So while I'm waiting for the Ford Bronco, I decided to go out and buy a 2021 Toyota Tacoma. I've always wanted to try out a Toyota Tacoma, but the price has always been a big barrier for me. You don't get a whole lot of bang for your buck. However, the reputation is that you get a lot of reliability. So I decided to pick it up. We're gonna build it. We're gonna see what we can do with it. We're gonna see how good it is. And then whenever the Bronco comes, we'll decide which one we're gonna keep. And at the end of the day, believe it or not, this is a pretty low risk. The Toyotas hold their value so well that if I don't like it, I can sell it and get a lot of my money back. And the pre-order for the Bronco is only a hundred bucks and it's completely refundable. So I'm definitely not on the market to buy two brand new four by fours, but I wanna build something a little bit newer than my other projects. And I think this is a great way to go. I've already built myself a very serious off-roader. This is my rock crawler and it is outstanding, but I can't just hop in it and grow, go cross country. This is why I have a one ton dually. I need to tow this in order to go have fun with it. This is gonna be fun when it's finished, but I would never just hop in it and grow, go cross country, which is what I need. I wanna build something that I can just jump in. I can comfortably go cross country. If I'm gonna go on just a solo trip, um, go down to the Rubicon, something like that, this will definitely not fit the bill. Plus, this the reliability of older vehicles is just not the same as you can get out of something modern. This is going to be a great cross country rig and I'm gonna be able to fit my whole family in there and we're gonna have put all of our gear in there and this is gonna be outstanding. But this Land Rover is the opposite of nimble. I've built this to be the ultimate overlander and that comes at a cost. That cost is weight. This is probably gonna be 6,500 pounds or so empty when it's all said and done. So this is definitely not that nimble off-roader that I just wanna hop in and go have fun with. This is where the Toyota Tacoma comes in. All off-roaders, including this truck, have a series of strengths and a series of weaknesses. And like everything I build, I'm just gonna play super hard into the strengths and I'll dress the weaknesses the best I can, but I'm not gonna try and take my one-ton dually truck and turn it into a little trail rig. It's not a trail rig. So there's no point in me building it like one. Uh, this Tacoma, it's not a tow truck. It is a trail rig. It's the perfect size for it. It's narrow, it's nimble, it's much lighter than a full-size truck. And I'm just gonna play super hard into the strengths of this truck. One thing that is a strength and a weakness is the wheelbase. So if you're going to LB and you're going to boat ramp or something like that, this is a place up where I live, this wheelbase is too long, especially with only 35s. But if we're going to Sand Hollow, if we're going to Moab, Utah, if we're going to Baja, that longer wheelbase is gonna make it so much sta more stable on steep grades. It's gonna make it smoother when you're going fast in the desert. So we're gonna play heavy on what a truck of this wheelbase on a 35 inch tall tire would be good at. And so I'm gonna try and keep it ultra light. We're gonna be building all the bumpers, the sliders, any sort of uh, roof rack, headache rack. This is kind of a question mark up here, but any of that's gonna be built out of aluminum. I wanna keep this, I w the goal is to try and only increase the weight by about 500 pounds total. So we'll see if that's even possible, but I'm gonna do my best. Right now we're like 4,600. So I mean, if we were, I don't know, if I kept it under 53, 52, that ballpark, I think that that is gonna still make it to where it doesn't feel super underpowered and we're still gonna have really good performance. So 35 inch tall tires, we're gonna do long, long travel arms in the front. With this build, I wanna try to relate to those of you that can't build everything yourself and I'm gonna try to do some more bolt-on type stuff here. We're going to build custom stuff that you won't see anywhere else, like a scratch-built aluminum front bumper, sliders, rear bumper, but I think I'm gonna do just a bolt-on lift kit. I'm, I'm gonna search around, we'll see. If I can't find a manufacturer that wants to work with this, because these lift kits are crazy expensive, then we'll build our own A-arms, but I don't want it to come to that. I would rather find a good company that already has this dialed in and we can just bolt on a bunch of great parts and have fun with it really quickly. 
Um, also, I don't think I mentioned front locker or gears yet. We're gonna do 529s, front locker. It has a rear locker already, which is great, but the kind of things that I wanna do with this, we're gonna need a front locker. Um, bed rack, either, I, I'm, I have two ways that I could build this. I'm interested in building a super light overlander. I think it would be fun to try and see how light we could make an overlander, seeing as my other overlander is so heavy, um, and it's just built completely different. It's like a family style overlander. This would be like a solo style overlander. So I'm interested in maybe building an ultra light aluminum bed rack and then getting like the lightest rooftop tent they make and just literally whittling down all of my gear towards just the basics. And I could just drive this down to the Rubicon Trail, go solo or go with like a buddy or something and have a really lightweight truck that could mob down, mob back, you know, that performs well, it doesn't feel overweight. I think that this would be a cool build for that. But regardless, I want it to be kind of like a Baja California, or Baja Mexico, Moab, Rubicon rig. So I, if I don't do the bed rack type thing, I'll do a roof rack, a lightweight roof rack. I'll make it look just super Baja because I wanna bomb through the desert in this. I've never had something that I can do that with. And this has got a really good um, opportunity for us to do that. The long travel A-arms are gonna make it towards me so much better at soaking up those bumps at speed. And uh, it's also gonna make it way better if we're going on the Rubicon. We wanna have lots of wheel travel and IFS is notorious for not having a lot of flex. And that's why a lot of you guys um, hate the new Bronco. But if you build if you build A-arms correctly and you make them really long and you make them to where they're good for that kind of thing, they're great. I think that it could be just as good as a straight axle rig if we put the right suspension on it. So. We'll table that conversation later. Maybe I'll do a comparison video uh, between the two. So yeah, right now I wanna make it light no matter how we build it, whether it's just a lightweight Baja rig or an Overlander. And I want to do 35s, we're gonna do a locker, we're gonna do gears, we're gonna try to bolt on some stuff so I can relate to those of you that just wanna find good parts you can buy. I'm gonna build a bunch of custom stuff for those of you that come to this channel because you like seeing the metal fabrication. And all of you that have been asking me to start working with aluminum more, I love working with aluminum. It's really expensive, so in a lot of cases I don't do it, but on this rig, it's gonna be covered in aluminum. Probably gonna do aluminum skids, um, just aluminum everywhere. So this is gonna be an interesting project. It's gonna be something I've never built before. I've never built something that's gonna be great in sand, and we're gonna test it. I'd like to jump it a little bit. I don't wanna get too crazy. I'm, you're not gonna be see me doing 100 foot jumps or anything, but I do wanna get some air, and I do wanna see what that's like to just go fast in the desert. Many of you who watch the channel regularly, I'm sure are wondering when is Nate gonna get started on that Diesel Liberty Project? Well, here's the sad update of the Liberty Project. It is not gonna be a Liberty Project anymore. It is gonna be sold. I'm gonna put this up for sale on Craigslist today. And uh, if you're watching this video, it's on Craigslist. In fact, I'll put a link in there because I'm sure some of you guys would wanna at least see um, you know, what I'm asking and see if it's something you would buy. But here's the reality. Putting this on 43 is a giant project. I mean, a giant, giant project. This would take up the bulk of what you see on my channel for a year and a half at least. And the cost to do a project this big, would it was just gonna be absolutely unsurmountable. It was gonna be, I mean, I wanted to do rear steer, one tons. To be able to build the vehicle the right way and make it the way I wanted, it was gonna make it to where I didn't have a budget for these other projects that you see here and it actually makes a lot more sense for me to start with a vehicle like the toyota not go as crazy and the project's going to get done way faster we're going to be able to have a lot more fun with it and unfortunately it's got to go this video feels weird this is a, i haven't done one of these in a long time where i just talk and there's a cover a topic but i feel like you guys deserve an update on all these projects for those of you that are just like loyal subscribers that watch everything that I build and you watch all these videos and you ask questions all the time. I mean, this video is for you. It's to give you an update on all these projects. So right now we're gonna go through them all one by one. We've got this new Tacoma, which I'm really pumped about. It is not at the forefront of what I'm gonna be building. What I'm gonna be building right now is gonna be first the Land Rover Discovery. I wanna get that done because 2021 for me is gonna be the, it's gonna be the year where I wrap up loose ends, I button up projects and I start, I go outside way more and I go and have adventure way more. I have felt so isolated these last few months because the the tires that are on my, my TJ are not made for winter. I can't take them in the snow. They're made for rocks, which is what I love doing, but I also love snow. And because I can't take the TJ out and have fun with it, 
and the rest of my projects are all under construction, I can't go out and do the stuff I love to do, which is go off road and share it with you guys. So this year I'm gonna change that. That's why I decided not to take on the Liberty Project knowing how big it's gonna be. I wanted something that's already a runner driver, something that I can basically just put a lift and tires and bumpers on and we can go have adventure whenever the opportunity arises. So no more of this sitting in the shop and just building all the time. I wanna go out and have fun. So we're gonna start with the Land Rover Discovery. We need to get it done. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna start on the air system. It is gonna be a one of a kind thing. I have some plans for the air system I've never seen before and you guys are gonna love it, I promise. So we're gonna get this knocked out hopefully in the next like three weeks-ish, four weeks maybe, and then we can actually get it on the road for real and we can see if these axles are gonna work. I'm not 100% certain that all this hodgepodge of parts is gonna work. We're gonna see once we test it. Then once the Land Rover Discovery is done, we're gonna bounce back and forth between the Tacoma and the Jeep truck. The Jeep truck, honestly, it doesn't have a crazy amount that needs to be done for it to be an operable truck. The biggest, I just need to build this interior, which is gonna be nuts. I've ordered stuff to do it. I've ordered the tooling that I need in order to build that dash. So all that's gonna be coming. We're gonna get this Jeep truck done. I'd like to get it done before summer, but if that engine and transmission don't work or whatever, uh, then we're going to be building that TDI build, the high horsepower TDI, and we're gonna be putting that in the Jeep truck. But regardless, I want this Jeep truck done by the end of the year, like no excuses. I want it done by the end of the year, preferably by summer, but no later than the end of the year. So I wanna get the disco done first, then we're gonna work on the Jeep truck and the Toyota. The Toyota's honestly not that big of a project. Lift, tires, you build, you know, then we build our bumpers and our sliders and the thing's ready to rock and roll. So we'll see, I might pivot for the next two months or so, get the Tacoma done so I have a toy, then the Disco, Tacoma, both done, and then I can just hammer on this uh, Jeep truck. But regardless, this year I'm wrapping up loose ends. I wanna meet a bunch of you guys whenever COVID restrictions loosen and things become more safe again. And I want things to go back to normal for me, just like all of you guys want things to go back to normal for you. I miss wheeling with strangers. I miss high-fiving a buddy. <laughs> it's all those little things you take for granted that I'm ready to get back to. So this year, hopefully you will see me um, outdoors way more and many of you will hopefully see me at off-road events and you will see me uh, just having fun outside and doing the stuff that we all love to do so if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up we don't do a lot of these we just do updates every once in a while but uh, in the next one you're going to be seeing me cutting grinding all the normal stuff we're going to fab things from scratch we're going to have a lot of fun and i will see you then